What is going on everybody? Welcome to my first RuneScape. Today we're going to start a rebuild. I cleaned out my bank except a few untradeables and unusables. As you can see there's nothing really useful in this bank. So my plan is to rebuild with absolutely no gear. So I can't even use void armor. And see how far we can get. These are my stats right now. It's a pretty decent account so let's get into it so the first thing we're going to do is run all the way up probably people have already seen this all the way up to the lava dragons and pick up the white berries just to get some starting cash so we can buy some gear just to make life easier quick side note you can't make Well, oh, what a nice guy. Sometimes you get them. Quick side note that I forgot to mention earlier. I'm not allowed to take any donations. I'm not allowed to stake. So that's, I think, pretty obvious in, uh, in series like these. So, yeah. I'm not taking any donations. Not that I expect them because I'm not really a famous YouTuber or anything just yet. But I've gotta make some ground rules. Alright, so we arrived at Lava Dragon Isle. Okay, we're just gonna run past. Ah! No! Only one. <laughs> no, sir. How do I resist? How am I so lucky? I am so lucky. Why is he not just chilling? <laughs> this guy. Oh my, let's see. Maybe he's in here. Maybe he's in this world. Let's see. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll go get. Uh, I'll go collect some some white berries, and um, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so first inventory, it's like five k. I can start off with that. It's it's not big, but at least it gives me some starting cash that I can start making some uh, some extra money. We could even go back to Lava Dragons, honestly. I might do it. For your info, I am absolutely not having a plan at all. I'm just doing it the way I think it is good to do. There's no script or anything, we're just we're just having fun, I guess. So yeah, let's go back to the GE, sell this off, see if we can get a salamander and go back. Alright, see you guys in a minute. Alright, so I got myself a black salamander and a monk's rope because I, well, I, I literally can't afford anything more. So, I'm gonna get some uh, monk's ropes from the, the monk place. I can't remember the word. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I forgot I could do that, so I'm just gonna get the top. Alright, we're looking dope. We look like one of them. Just gotta cut my hair. All right, we're going back in. So yeah, but the shitty part of all this is that I do not have the agility level, I think. This is the spot. All right, let's do this. Let's kill some fuckers. One drop from these guys and I'm back to... Oh, actually, oh, I think I doubled what I'm wearing. All right, that's the first trip done. I don't think we need to go back there yet. Because we got we got some nice we got some nice money from this. Maybe we can instantly go to the Revenant Cave. All right, there we go. Oh, it's more than 150. I thought it was 150k, 170k. So let's see if we can get Dragon Scimitar. 
We're gonna keep a hold of these monk robes for now. I don't know if I can get him, but we'll see in a minute. I can't buy those, so I'll stick with the runeite uh, and black dragonite. Upgrades, people! Upgrades! Okay, we can't get a native note yet. Then we're just gonna get a warrior one. I can't even get that. Alright, Runeful Helm. Alright, there we go. Look at this hero. I'll be with you guys once we reach the Revenant Cave. Maybe he's AFK. Get him! There we go. We can't get in there yet. So we just go back. It's fine. We still managed to get ourselves a kill. Worth of... 48k. We got the bracelet of Ethereum. So we don't have to buy that anymore. At least I get some teleport methods now. And a combat potion which is going to be handy. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, we're just going to drop the gear. Go back to the black salamander. Alright, here we are again. Gonna get ourselves 100k gold. So that we can enter the revenant cave and slaughter some of those little revenants. Hopefully we won't like get PK'd. Alright, and that's everything sold from the last trip. We got 110 k 115k that is just enough to go into the revenant cave which we are going to do so we have 23k to play around with and we need to sell that as well um, so i'm thinking about just buying some ether just to start off because we obviously already have the bracelet so we don't have to do that that's a good thing so let's gear up and let's go to the revenant cave i can't wait to get some upgrades because this sucks maybe maybe i should just um focus more on the lava dragons to be quite honest, or start ranging them. Oh, look at that. Never mind. We can stay. We can stay here for a bit. It's actually already 80k. It's already 80k ish. Yeah. It's two of those. It's not too bad. The hobgoblins are being nice. These guys give like unlimited resources all the time. So yeah, we can stay here for quite some time. Those Revenant Cave teleports, are, are, they're really going to help. They're not as expensive anymore, so I don't think it's worth selling. So that I can just use them. I have seven now, so it gives me a few trips. What we're really looking for here is either an upgrade. That being the dragon plate legs or obviously looking for one of the relics that we can sell I don't know what else these guys really drop that's worthy obviously crossbow and all that stuff but yeah that's about it what's what's really worthy and they drop their um, they drop resource you know I'm just going to skull next year fuck it There you go. That's so easy. Like, if we die here anyway, we need to go back. What are you thinking, mate? Get out. It's a place for low levels right now. Which is fine by me. They can't attack me. And are they really going to look over here? Can I get something worthy? Getting a DDS would be nice as well. Well, DDS. Not actually DDS, just a dragon dagger without poison. But I can use that to spec. At least have some spec weapon. I mean, what does it do? 
Oh, that's not too bad, actually. People are being dicks, so I can just ignore their protection prayers. I didn't have... I didn't get any... Restores yet. It would be nice to have some restores. Prayers are good. Extra bonus damage, more survivability. We just get another bracelet, that's fine as well. How's the looting bag looking? 300k. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I have a feeling that we're gonna stay here for quite some time. We made it! That was so fucking lucky. Holy shit, you have no idea. Ah, he got the kill, but he got nothing. You lose! So, that concludes the first episode of rebuilding old school RuneScape. We were just getting started, so we didn't have a lot of progress, but we started from nothing, so that's actually well, pretty decent in my opinion for a few hours. Two, I believe. Two hours work. All right, let's check. Let's check the price. The eight million. I don't know where it comes from. It's well. I think it's mostly untradeables. Let's see. Here we got the four cats head. Ivernic defender, obviously. Um, and the Slayer helmet. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of hidden money somewhere scattered around. That. Oh yeah, yeah. The ferocious gloves. That's it. That's the big guy. Alright, so let's price check this. I know it's a messy bank. I'll sort it out after videos offline. So let's check everything. After the videos online, I'm sorry. Apologies. Oh, we don't. Where are we going? This is basically everything we've got. So that's meh, about 5.6. 560k that's not bad for starting from scratch and only working for two hours so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode and we'll see you guys in the next episode of rebuild runescape bye